hi there welcome back to the next video and in this video i will show you the below function so in the previous video i have shown you the above function which is helpful in picking up the value which is above to the current value so for example this value 886000 uh, has uh, is the current value and prior to that or above to that is 1.26 million so over here we are having the running difference if i show you over here so this basically says says that from the current sales value subtract the above sales value now similar to this you have below function so if i go ahead and add a measure and i simply say below sum sum of sales and hit a tab what it gives me it's the simple uh, below value so if i click on done and show you in the front end uh, the value is this so value which is below to the current cell so in current cell the value is 1.26 million below to this you have 886,000. that's what you get it over here for 886 the value below to this is 1.03 million so that's what you get it over here now you can think that whatever expression like subtraction, division, whatever you want based on your business needs, you can simply go ahead and uh, execute it like we have done it over here uh, to find the running difference from the current quarter to previous quarter. Now let's go back and sh let me show you one other thing which I have not shown you in the previous video where we discussed about the above function. Now the sim simple scenario is that um, you want the immediate above or below value in that case we have simply not specified anything or any other parameter but let's say i want to go two step down or three step down and find the value so for example for 1.26 million i want to go two step down so i want to pick this value 1.03 so what i can do is in the below after the expression i can simply say two and hit it and now you can see what I get is 103, 103, right? So this way you can make your expression um, complex or um, customize it based on what value you need to pick, whether the third below value, fourth below value, whatever you want to pick, you can simply go ahead and specify it. So, so scenario like this where you have a kind of a year over year calculation where you want to compare the 2009 Q1 with 2010 Q1 or 2010 Q1 with 2009 Q1. You can simply uh, utilize the above and below function, above and uh, be uh, below function, to to calculate that. So that's what I wanted to show you, and I will now meet you in the new video with the new topic.